Ailsa Hughes, I'm scrum half and my club is Railway Union. Average day kind of up for six o'clock in the morning. So I try to get up to the gym for kind of seven, half seven. So get in a gym session before we go out on a pitch for half nine. Um, and then coaching then till four o'clock. If we don't have training, um, try to get out on the pitch and do conditioning sessions straight away after coaching. And then if we do have training, ideally get out an hour before training to get some passing and kicking done and then training for half seven. Then back on the road home for about half nine, home for half ten ish. My earliest memory of rugby is we went up to watch a Mary's game in Mary's and I'll never forget I was standing after the match in the clubhouse it was only a few years later that I realised it was in Mary's because I was so I must have been seven or eight maybe we were standing in the clubhouse afterwards and I was standing beside these three huge men listening in and their conversation trying to join in and the next minute one of them picked me up and stood me on the table so I could join in the conversation. So the conversation was between, I think, Trevor Brennan, Leo Cullen and Reggie Corrigan, I think were the three who, and they just stood me up on the table so I could join in in the conversation with them. We're huge, huge Leinster fans in our house. We would have, all schools rugby, we were up to watch schools rugby, even though we were down in Offaly, we were up to watch all school rugby matches. Darcy, O'Driscoll, the usuals, you know. Shane Burnaby in there too. Loved the hair. <laughs> To go out onto a pitch and do a disgusting conditioning session all on your own really builds character and it builds you how to how to be a better person, I suppose. So and that's what I'm currently trying to do is transition that from on the pitch and then actually into my working life and into my career and trying to yeah, use those attributes that I've gained from playing rugby and put them into my personal life. After any match, the last thing you want to do is go on social media and read the comments because I don't mind if people want to criticise our match and, and give an opinion on it, that's fine. But when you're reading comments that are just saying that women shouldn't be playing rugby full stop, it's frustrating to, to read these comments, so I just avoid pretty much social media after matches. I'm not playing rugby too long, but I knew when I got into it that I wanted to help coach and I wanted to get involved. Um, there's such a huge group of girls out there who haven't been exposed to the sport and I think to try and get them to get them to play is, is incredible. Like the 2020 campaign and what's going on at the minute is just trying to expose girls sports and women into sports and gotta get girls out playing. It's future of Irish rugby is out there somewhere and we need them on a pitch.